Today, we'll be taking a look at nine YouTubers who found Barbie in real life, including the time Unspeakable got attacked by her. Coming in straight at number nine, we have Otis World TV, and on the dark web, he found some information about a haunted Barbie factory where people reported seeing alive Barbie dolls. Otis drove there at 3 a.m. to investigate, and he was literally attacked by Barbie Ixi, who started chasing after him. So let's get right to it. Maybe I should just go back to the car. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Okay. See, it's right there. It's not even moving. Okay. Well, clearly, I'm just gonna grab it. Oh, oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the freak? Yo, it's freaking running after me. How is this ball? How is this ball coming after me? This makes no sense. Like and subscribe or this spider will be in your bed while you're trying to sleep. Although just barely escaped alive. Anyways, at number eight, we have Doritos Reaction, who wanted to start dating Barbie, but he found out that she and Ken are already dating. So he tracked them down during one of their dates and literally attacked Ken. Guys, you haven't seen anything like this before, so let's roll the clip. Oh my gosh, guys, look. I'm talking right there. I'm pretty sure that Ken is actually flirting with Barbie. Oh my gosh. Um, Ken, wow. <laughs> What's happening? What is going on? Oh my god. Uh, Yo, what is happening? That clip from Dorito's reaction was crazy, and it leads us to clip number seven from Holden Reacts because he finds Barbie and Ken kissing in real life. He heard about some Barbie sightings at a haunted park in his neighborhood, so he took his drone there to look for her and found not only her, but also Ken, and the two of them literally started to kiss. So let's check it out. Guys, look at this. Oh my gosh, that's Barbie and Ken right there. I cannot believe this, guys. Yo, and they're actually on a date right now. Oh my God, that is so amazing, guys. I love them so much. Like this video right now for Barbie and Ken. What the freak, bros? There's a bug on me. What the hell? Guys, like this video right now if you love Barbie and Ken, and if you want them to kiss, yo, what are they doing, bro? <gasps> oh, guys, they're literally kissing right now. What the freak? Right as I said that, guys. Oh, that's amazing. Yo, and they just saw my drill, guys. I want to get out of here. I don't want to bother them anymore. Oh, guys, that was literally amazing. Bruh. They literally kissed. They kissed right when I said that, guys. That was crazy. But at number six, we have RK Kreniax, who watched the Barbie movie at 3 a.m., and it triggered a curse that made Barbie XE come into their house. As soon as they finished watching the movie, they heard some strange noises coming from the hallway, and then Edward went to see what it might be, but he was met by Barbie EXE, so let's get right to it. Barbie? Oh! Go, 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 go! Close door! Close door! Get in! Close door! Who the hell was that? Oh my god, grab this! She's actually here then. She's here then! Oh my god, dude. What the hell did we do? We said Morty. You guys, because we didn't watch the Barbie movie, now- That was pretty scary, but at number five, we have David Aji, who, and in this clip, he finds a kidnapped Barbie. So basically, David investigated a metal company, which makes Barbies, and he tracked down one of their vans transporting a real Barbie. The employee of the company just put in her box and left her stuck all alone. So let's check it out. Like, what if someone is literally trying to buy a human life-size Barbie, and like, because Yana keeps dressing yo, up as yo, her, yo, you know? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, he's, yeah, he's taking her out, dude. Yeah, yeah. It looks like he's bringing her to the- to that box. Your theory could be right. Dude, he, that's messed up. That's very messed up. He, he just put her in there and there's hand, bro, there's literally yo, handcuffs yo, in there. what the heck? Dude, I feel like he's like making some sort of like dark web deal or yeah, something. Yo, look, you see how it says Barbie? This is a Barbie box. Bro, the, the, she sees us. Wait, she does? Yo, yeah. yo, he's telling her to like, shut up. Oh my God, yo, this guy, yo, oh my ooh. God. Yo, he's aggressive. Jesus. What the heck? Bro, poor Yana. No, no, no. I gotta go save her. Dude, bro, like, I don't understand. Why can't she? Yo, oh, oh, oh. He noticed the jump. Hold on. Yana, just stay there, Yana! David and his friends saved Barbie and set her free from the box. So in number four, we have Stromedy, who helped David to get Barbie out of the box. But as soon as they did it, the Mattel van pulled up and the employee tried to kidnap Barbie again. 
this is crazy because you can't do much against such a huge company as Mattel. And you can see the frustration in Stromedy's face when he realizes that he can't protect Barbie. So let's get to the clip. No. The SUV's no, no, no. coming. Yo, the Mattel no. truck's coming. Well, Yana's running. Yana's running. Yana's hiding. Yana! Barbie! Hide! Hide! Bring it low. Bring it low. Maybe try to use the drone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. This is not good right now. Yana, please hide. Please hide. Don't let them capture you. If this is anything like the movie, this is about to go super southbound. Yana, try to follow the drone and we'll lead her to safety. We can see the best route to get out of there. Oh my god. Yo, look. It's all the guys from the Mattel Corporation. They look kind of scary. Yeah, dude. They look like they mean serious business. Things are about to get nuts right now, Stromedy Squad. I wouldn't mess with them, though. It's three of four of you won. How did they not see her? I don't know. Maybe they're like calling out to her. Wait, how did they even know she was here? Yana must have called them. Like, we gotta go over there and tell the Mattel guys that she's not a real Barbie. That was really sad. But at number three, we have Kiana Bertrand and his friend apparently started chatting with Barbie on the dark web, and they were planning to meet up in real life. Just to be safe, Kiana offered to spy on her with a drone before they meet up. And in this clip, they're literally following Barbie with a drone, and it's crazy. So let's get right to it. Hold on. Did you tell her you lived at the school? No, I told her I lived near a school. What, then why is she at the school? Wait, did she park at the school? Again, she's at the school, but I don't think she drove here, my guy. I think she walked. Nah, what do you mean? She told me she has her full license. Really? A license to walk? No, a license to drive. She has a pink convertible. Well, she's she's walking. I don't see no pink convertible, my G. Wait, there's no pink convertible on the drone right now? No, there's just a pink lady skipping around a school parking lot like a creep. Wait, let me see. Let me... Oh, uh, see, that was the fit she sent me. Yeah, that's the one. That's, that's the, the one. one. That's the one? Yeah. A, a pink jumpsuit? Uh... Pink, no, no, no. She, it was a pink dress, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's very flowy like a dress. What do you, what do you mean? It's, she... Before we get to Unspeakable, let's take a look at clip number two from Jester, who ordered the Barbie potion from the dark web. Apparently, if you drink that potion at 3 a.m., you'll turn into Barbie EXE, and because of that, Jester didn't want to drink it himself, so he tricked his friend Ken into drinking it, and as you might imagine, it ended up backfiring terribly because the potion worked, and Ken got possessed by Barbie EXE. He literally attacks Jester, and you don't want to miss it, so let's check it out. Come on now. Stop playing games. Come on. We know you're in there. Just, just open up and just. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> what the hell, Kenrick? What are you wearing? Ken, what are you doing? Get that Get away from me! Barbie box thing. What are you, what are you doing? You need to stop. Oh. Nick, Nick, what the hell, Ken? Kenrick, get away from me! Get away from me, Ken! Ken! Finally, at number one, we have Unspeakable, and he purchased a Barbie doll off the dark web. The doll literally came to life at 3 a.m. and attacked Unspeakable and his friends. This is a really scary clip, and what happens at the end is too crazy to skip, so make sure to keep on watching until the end. In a Barbie world, wrapped in plastic, it's fantastic, it's on my head. In the next part, Barbie attacks them, so let's get back to the clip. No, 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 no! 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 No!